good evening friends i am pratip kumar here so i am going to tell you about uh, sumo it is a simulation of urban mobility software for uh, regular ad hoc networks and uh, with the help of uh, this software we are going to simulate a regular ad hoc networks with the odb protocol uh, along with uh, aerial uh, trafficking like uh, open street map so we are going to download the open street map file and then for that uh, real traffic simulation we are going to enable vehicles to run on the road and then uh, between car to car connectivity we are going to establish with the help of the odb protocol so after the entire simulation is done we are going to uh, migrate everything from uh, sumo xml files to uh, tcl files from there we will have network animation as well as a trace file so this post or uh, this video will uh, take you to the entire uh, information right from uh, creating a network uh, to uh, analyze the uh, network animation and the tracing uh, so till this uh, from starting to end it will be giving you a complete information on uh, regular data networks just reminding you again so we are going to simulate sumo open street map and ns2 thank you dear friends I am T.S. Pradeep Kumar here. So you can refer my YouTube channel. For more videos on related to NS2, NS3 and IoT. Also, you can refer my website. Okay. Now this video we are going to see about a sumo, so which we call it as uh, simulation of urban mobility. So this is one of the software that is helpful for simulating the urban uh, cars uh, cars in the network, and we are going to use open street maps, uh, which is helpful to. download the map of a given place in a xml file so this one thing we are going to see and the ns2 and the simulator 2 so this is what we are going to see now so sumo voice and the ns2 so this session we'll be talking we'll be talking about all these three and I will, I will show you how to simulate the complete network using this regular network networks. So step one. So download the OS. Okay. There are some prerequisites. So three. Prerequisites. You should have installed Sumo. Uh, my version here is my version is sumo 0.25.0 this I have installed in my machine so uh, the users are requested to install this sumo version in this so sometimes the typing will be very slow or sometimes uh, the screen will move very slow because I am using a Macintosh machine so it's a virtual box so you, you can see that the in the field. So now assuming that I have installed already, I have installed Sumo. So you can refer uh, some of my posts related to the installation of Sumo. And uh, now first thing is we have to download the OSM files. So open the browser. So here is the browser. So what I do is, uh, since I belong to Chennai, a place in Tamil Nadu, India. So we have a bridge, we have a flyover in which it has a butterfly flyover. So just what I do is I'll just uh, this is for the diagram here. So I'm going to export uh, this road. So I'm going to simulate this road and I'm going to uh, play uh, the vehicles to move the vehicle in this road. So after you get this, so the website is openstreetmap.org. So once you get this website, so don't take a bigger graph because bigger graph need a separate processing for it. Also the size of the OSM file will be very huge. So what I do is I'll just take a smaller graph. So this road I've taken. So click export. 
so once export is there so automatically there will be some location of x and y so manually select a different area so automatically the map will be formed here so you can select the area manually so what i do is i'll just move this area and so i just move this a little bit so this is what the area i just wanted to select click export so when you click export it takes some time to get downloaded since i have taken a smaller row so the download size might be very less so let us see mm, so here is the download uh, download size so almost around uh, 440 kilobytes so here is a place here so what i do is uh, i just rename rename the file so instead of this what i do is uh, this is a place called as gindi so i just use the file name called as gindi.osm so copy this file so come to the home folder here so the home folder create a folder name called as gindi so for naming convention i use all the file name as gindi so gindi is the first file i have created so assuming that i have already installed uh, sumo so my first step will be so we check it so when i type sumo it shows me it is already installed so for installing sumo in a new version you can uh, refer my website msnam.com okay. so now what i do is along with sumo there will be some more files would have been installed so we have to use all these files so i'll just show you with then and there which are the files need to be used okay so first thing is download the voice file so I used Tatipara in Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. So I have used uh, this file. So you will get the map.osm file. Rename as per your convenience. So rename the file as per your convenience. So I have renamed it now. Step number three will be open the terminal and give that nice one by one. Okay, assuming this is a terminal. So what do you do is so this is the terminal. So net convert hyphen hyphen OS some files. So OS file is a generic open sheet map file, it is given in XML format. See for in the deploying with sumo we need to have a special processing xml file so one xml to another xml it has to be converted so for that you have to use this file so osm hyphen files okay we will just go in the folder gindi so in the gindi folder uh, let convert hyphen hyphen osm files uh, gindi.osm and uh, hyphen go so the output file will be Indeed.net.xml. So this is a file I am going to use the network XML file. So we are going to convert the voice file into this file because this is a file we need for most of our job. Okay. Click. So you will be getting some warning. So it will uh, let us not bother about the warning. So the final if we get success, then you can check that it's a new file called Gindi.net.xml is created. Okay, so now uh, we have you have seen the bridge here. Uh, you can see the bridge here so this is the flyover so wherein you can see these houses these waterways and there are some side roads here some hotels and hospitals everything uh, are located here so in the simulator window also in the sumo window also we can able to see all these things so for that we have to have a waterways so have to be separated than the road so the car should go only on a road not on a waterways or anywhere else so for that there's a separate file available so uh, you just go to the sumo source code so we have sumo 0 0.26 this is a source code and it has to be exported with sumo underscore home so it's a path we have to export it i have already exported this path so what you can do is uh, so you can go and set this cd dollar sumo underscore home 
in that you can see uh, there's a uh, folder called data so we can see a data folder inside the data folder we have something like type map so inside the type map you can see there is a file called as OSM polyconvert so maybe I just open this file so this is shown like this waterway natural natural water natural wetland wood plant so forest park residential commercial so all these things they related to the information will be shown in the uh, graphical window so I'm just copying this and, and put it this into the Gindi folder. So copy this OSM polygon word. So it just paste in the Gindi folder. Okay. Now go and take Gindi folder. You can check it. So the file is already there now. So now what I do is now we have to convert a um, poly XML file from the netter XML file. So there's a command called as polyconvert. So when you install the sumo, uh, this polyconvert, this netconvert, the first command netconvert, everything will be installed by default. So if you get bad command or uh, command not found, that means sumo was not installed properly. So polyconvert OSM files. First OSM file is gindi.osm. Then I can net file. Net file is already we have created. The net file so gindi.net.xml file okay now type file we have created so we have just now download the type file on osm and output file uh, gindi.poly.xml file so once you done it you will get a success so that means this file we are creating now gindi.poly.xml we are creating so based on the osm file uh, the net file as well as the polyconvert file you check it uh, so this file is created so we have downloaded only this file now from this we have created three different files yes okay so now as per this command so net convert I will just copy this here See the file from sumo description slash data type map slash version only convert dot type map. Please it in the folder. How very yeah and then after that we have to use the polyconvert this polyconvert file so this you can copy it i'll just share this data in my website so that you can download these things from my website in sman.com yeah now this polyconvert data so polyconvert file also done now so now net convert is over polyconvert is over then uh, we have to create the routing file okay. so in the routing file first thing is we have to create this file so uh, we have the root file so we have to create a root file like this okay. now what I do is clear the screen so uh, it's command python and dollar sumo home slash so sumo home the sumo sumo home we have tools under the tools we have some very really land term tips that python file so we have some python file so now in this case python have to be installed within your folder so python should be there and random tips are there and then python name gindi in the gindi dot metadata xml and it should be uh, sent to a routing file so now uh, when the cars are moving on the road 
we have to create the route manually so in which route the car have to move and how many number of vehicles so these things we have to specify now this random trip since it is random trip the trip is generated randomly so we need not uh, manipulate the trips but in case if you don't want to have a random trip then you can have to do everything manually in the xml files so now what i am doing here is this. now i am going to go for a, a random trips.py so i am going to create random trip so everything will be written to this root file so in the root.xml so uh, here i am remaining again this name of the place is gindi so we are creating so many xml files now the number of vehicles in me let me say i want to use 50 vehicles <coughs> 50 vehicles i have created okay so you can create 100 vehicles 25 10 vehicles so it's up to your choice so if you increase the number of vehicles at the end when you when we are to convert to ns2 so ns2 will be very slow if the number of vehicles are more than 100 so restrict yourself to create 100, 100 vehicles but if you want to create more than 100 vehicles then you should uh, have sufficient processing power sufficient uh, memory to handle it okay now i am creating now so now uh, there are so many files of created you got a success message you may get so many warnings but don't bother about the warnings so only thing is we have to create a uh, successful message now we can see gindi.net.xml this is the file we have first created second we have created net.xml third we have created poly.xml now we created root.xml so from the root we got the alternative root and tips so there are so many files have been created okay so now um, the next thing will be so we have to create a uh, sumo configuration file so now this is what the so this file also will share it in my website you create a new file called as sumo configuration file so what you can do is uh, this is the 10, 10 lines of file so whatever is there you can use it here uh, i can use it gindi hmm. so name of the place gindi.net.xml uh, then gindi.root.xml and poly also gindi.poly.xml so we have a net file value equal to this and the root files value equal to this additional files value equal to this in, in time we are starting from 0 to 100 seconds and the step length value of 0 0.1 so this also you can manipulate 0 0.2, 0 0.3 or whatever 0 0.5 and 0 to 100 uh, if you want you can reduce increase the timing or reduce the timing ok now this I am going to save it as sumo.config so bindi.sumo.csg so sometimes people will use sumo cfg so it's up to you what you uh, what you would like to have so i am going to have sumo.cfg so this is also an xml file so we call sumo.cfg so with this now we got the sumo.cfg file so you can see this here uh, this gindi.sumo.cfg file is here so now we are going to simulate the first level of simulation sumo gui so we have a sumo gui uh, in this we are going to have gindi dot sumo.config so once you click this it will open a window and you can see now it shows the entire road along with so many areas ok now what I do is I just drag it across and here is our, uh, our road so you can see this now so the poly.xml file uh, displays this so waterways these are the open spaces these are the buildings and these are hotels and everything will be shown here and I am going to have a real world so you can see a real world means you can see real cars moving in these roads and the delay 0 means infinite delay so you can have some uh, reasonable time in delay so 0 to 100 seconds now you can see um, the vehicles will be moving here and there since we have 100 drift so you can see here now so we have created 50 vehicles so accordingly there will be 50 random vehicles moving in the roads so you can see uh, across these roads yes here there are some vehicles so in the entire road you can see there are so many vehicles so 50 vehicles here so this is the general uh, sumo configuration this is sumo gui so you can customize the number of vehicles so if you have 100 vehicles or 50 vehicles so you can accordingly you can able to show in the simulation ok now you can see there is a railway track also in between so the vehicles uh, automatically goes underneath the railway track and you can uh, see but there are no as per in this bridge there are no signal lights 
so had there been signal uh, traffic signals are there that also will be taken into consideration and that also will be presented. actually in india uh, we use only the left hand side driving but since the sumo software uh, there can be customized for right hand side and left hand side but by default it takes care as a right hand side driving so in on indian road if you want to test on a right hand side driving you can use this one of as one of the mechanism but we in real we use only the left hand side driving so you can see there are so many cars uh, playing around uh, this area okay so this is a general uh, gui uh, we can able to see now from this we are going to convert this form into the network simulator part so that is a very biggest uh, task and so many customization modification have to be done so i am just closing this window again now okay so now the third the last is of the so we are going to convert this into uh, ns2 files okay so before that uh, for ns2 we can have there is another command called sumo sumo hyphen c gindi uh, dot uh, sumo dot csv and the fcd output so that is another file that we have to convert into ns2 so not only uh, when and the sumo supports uh, omnit plus plus ns2 and trasi vsim so there are so many simulator third party simulators uh, sumo supports but we are, we are going to use only ns2 here so i am just going to demonstrate uh, uh, ns2 here now so what i am doing is gindi uh, dot uh, sumo.xml I will convert this file into gindi.sumo.xml conducted by sumo automatically okay. so now some uh, configuration is done so the entire uh, thing is converted you can check it here so gindi.sumo.xml file is already converted okay. now from this we are going to uh, convert to ms2 file so here we have a long command so we have a long command here again trace exporter so we have a trace exporter file so what we can do is python dollar sumo form so in this we are going to have trace exporter so two two trace exporter dot py and fcd uh, input so already we have converted fcd output now we are going to have fcd input the fcd input we have to have uh, gindi dot um, sumo dot xml then um, ns2 config file ns2 config ns2 config hyphen output uh, gindi dot tcl then uh, ns2 mobility hyphen output mobility dot tcl then ns2 activity actually activity uh, it's not mandatory but still we can uh, we can have activity in this activity output uh, activity dot tcl so we have this uh, three things we this send it to we'll just create it. it it may take some time maybe 15 or 20 seconds yes so what should be done so we have our tcl file ready gindi that tcl is ready and mobility that is ready and activity that is ready so now uh, our work is that we are going to convert this tcl file as per our convenience because we never specify what is the wireless channel we are going to do what is the protocol routing protocol we are going to use so we didn't mention anything because even the sumo does not uh, uh, provide does not provide all these uh, protocols uh, we have to do it manually so for this there is a slight easier step is there so uh, I just open this now uh, will be the PCL so when I see uh, just there are only uh, this many lines of coding are there in the TCL file so you can see this here just uh, limited lines of coding and the X and Y is there and uh, minimum X minimum Y is there so number of nodes only this many will be so no protocol nothing is there and even if you want to open activity file so activity file is not mandatory but still activity file has what time it has to serve, what time it has to stop and mobility file is a longest file that have uh, all the information of node 0 up to uh, so we just go to the end so it shows from node 0 to node 41 so what is the destination it has to move at what time so every data is available here so we have to use the mobility that is helpful and the activity is not needed now but anyway if you want to use we can use it so i have now i am closing this now
Now this is the gindi.tcl file that we have to edit this file. Okay. So now in this next step is uh, in NS2. So in NS2 I have again installed it. So it is there in the path. So this is a folder. So you can check this now. Home Pradeep Kumar NS alignment 2.35 NS 2.35 TCL EX. In this folder we have so many examples uh, available for NS2. We will just uh, give this also to you. This is the uh, home folder. So we can we can also check it. But uh, here again assumption is NS2 also installed already. Okay. So only then the NS command will work. Fine. So here so we have a file called as uh, simple hyphen wireless So there is an example given here simple wireless hyphen so open this code, open this file. Um, so what I can do is this is we have simply uh, open wireless that we can so open this file. So when you open this file, uh, remove the comments. So I don't want all the comments. So what I do is I just take the value from here. This is where the coding starts here. So I need to edit my coding. So I just copy from here to here, so from here to here, and then I am just going to paste it here. So I just pasted everything. I just pasted everything. So now first thing I delete whatever I don't need, I just delete each and everything. So I just deleted this. So I need to have the X and Y. Uh, so this we cut it and then paste it here. See now see uh, here all the array values are used as val here it has this opt so no issues in there because it is in the variable name I am going to use AODB protocol so change the AODB protocol here. this is antenna type this is the priority queue type and this is the Mac, Mac layer and the wireless physical layer propagation to regular room propagation wireless channel so all these things is already there and start time start time I don't want it now so I delete it also I don't want any activity file now so I just remove the activity file. Okay, so now I need only mobility file and the number of nodes are 41. OPT and then 41. So here I have only two here. So I just remove the value to 41. Instead of two, uh, I just change it to 41. So in this case now uh, this is removed. Okay, this line is removed. And mobility RTCL also I remove it. So whenever I need I just use this now. Okay, so now my simulation is ready, but I need to do uh, some more options here. Mm. What I will do is, so there is a tracing file, again I use gindi.tf, so already the tracing is there gindi.tf. So I need to have a network animation also, so for network animation I create this way, nan here, uh, open gindi.nan in the right mode and dollar in a underscore and nam trees all wireless then dollar nano and uh, dollar opt of x and dollar opt of y so because i need to specify uh, the x and y here so sometimes since i give 4706.3796 it might give some error so i will then make the next whole number so that these errors will be These errors will overcome. Okay, so now x and y is 4.7 kilometers in the x axis and 3 kilometers in the y axis. So, such a long area I have taken. Okay, and uh, here in the flat grid also, we have done for x and y. So, I can change it to x and y. Okay, yes, so now I got the Indeed, and num file and indeed a tier. Okay, so now uh, movement trace I will make it on. So the movement trace I should make it on, and also the number of nodes. So here the number of nodes are 41, so the value of n is 41. So the node is created here, then random motion is visible because after the mobility file, we have to create the random motion. So now here. 
dollar in this initial note was dollar note underscore dollar type. So I need to specify what is the size of the note. I'll make it as 20. So 20 means the size of the note is very small. So we give the thing the notes are very bigger in now. Okay, now XYZ is already set in the mobility size. So I'm going to set the mobility that we shall find now and destiny also no need. So I'm going to fill in the destination also. So instead of this, what I do is simple command source mobility that is helpful. Please remember so if a mobility that is file is in some other folder, you have to give the corresponding location. Suppose if it is in some other folder like this, then you have to give the full path of it. Can give this way also. But I am going to uh, maintain that this TCL file and mobility that is in the same folder. So the full path is not necessary. Even if you give, it's nothing wrong. Thank you. So now the source mobility that is here. Uh, it is done. So automatically whatever the mobility that is here will be pasted here. So now then uh, the age enter. So you can check it here node 0, node 1. So I want to establish connective connection between node 0 and 3, uh, node 0 and 22, up to 41 nodes you can use it. So uh, in this example there is only between 0 to 22 there is a path exists. So if you want to have different agents, so you can copy and paste this and you can create so many uh, agents, so many agents and then create so many activities. So and again we have 100 seconds, so we will the value to 100. Yes, now 100 is over. So my TCL job is done. So there is no further modifications. So if at all any error be encountered, then we will show the modification. So I clear this. So I come to the screen now again. Uh, Windy ms uh, dot tcl. So now when I run this, if at all any error in the mobility dot tcl file will be thrown here. Uh, so there is a segmentation fault. Check it. What is that? So, NAM will be there. So, NAM will be not. So, you can see the vehicles are here. Don't run the simulation here. So, you can see the cars are shown in this color. So, total we have used 50 cars. You can see there are only two connectivity between zero, node 0 and node 22 by connection. So how the cars move? So totally there are 41 nodes will be here. You can see this is the place where you can see the butterfly diagram. So the butterfly play over. So total 100 seconds is over. So optionally you can have you can increase the second from 0 to 100 or 0 to 1000 as per your convenience. So this is the general file for network animation. So the segmentation call should not occur. Uh, segmentation call means for want of memory or for want of some signaling, the segmentation call have occurred. But still, you know, the simulation is working fine. And you can see uh, there is a trace file also getting created. So when you open this trace file, if you want to analyze the packet drop and the packet uh, analysis throughput other things, you can use this trace file. So you can see this, the complete trace file, the packet tracing, your report, all everything is generated here. And total number of files is crossing a lag so you can do all the uh, analysis for this so if you want to do more analysis you can always refer my website in nsnam.com because there i have given how to simulate this uh, tracing through the help of some graphical uh, softwares then so that's all about uh, this tool open street map sumo and ns2 and I have given it the complete way how to do this uh, entire files. Again, I am waiting for any uh, information. I always refer to the website ms.com. So, this is my website and youtube.com slash Thank you very much.